Right, the first thing to do is uh, undo the uh, drain plug which is there. That's the oil filter. Uh, the drain plug is actually torqued up to 28 newton meters. So what we're going to do is uh, undo the drain bolt first. Very, very simple uh, job to do. There is no point at all uh, paying for someone else to do this job. It's so easy to do, as you'll see in this video. Uh, this engine has done a thousand miles uh, running in oil, basically a thousand. So uh, what comes out uh, is going to go back in. So we're going to measure it with the jug uh, to get it spot on. The engine's been warm, uh, so we've got warm engine oil in it. Uh, and as you can see, it's fairly black to start with. Let it all come out of the uh, out of the sump. takes about uh, three to five minutes. You can leave it to drain for about half an hour. That won't, uh, won't do it any harm at all. The oil's fairly black as you can see with a thousand miles on it. Recommend you doing this quite often. It's so easy to do. I would recommend doing an oil change on this car every say 5,000 miles oil is uh, very important to an engine now that's uh, that sump plug is going to be torqued up to 28 newton meters uh, obviously you, you, you will put a new washer on it at the same time uh, next thing to do is crack off the oil filter. Uh, it's easy just to get a uh, pair of grips and just anti-clockwise undo it. Once you've uncracked it, it will come off uh, by hand doing it. There's oil in the filter as well, so what we need to do is put the oil which comes out of the filter, drain it into the container, because the whole idea is we, we are measuring what's coming out of the engine is going to go back in because BMW won't actually tell us what is in the engine even though we've asked three or four times. So we've bought a, a new measuring jug, it's clean uh, and making sure all the old engine oil goes into this uh, into the jug. Then we're, what we're going to do is measure it to see what there is. Now don't forget the oil filter will contain oil in there as well so you'll need to add a little bit extra to what the, the container says. As I said before, this is so easy to do. It's it's just 20 minutes max to do it. Uh, new oil filter. Obviously, you want to put new engine oil onto the uh, rubber uh, gasket. Coat that. Prime the oil filter as well with some oil. Uh, that's the BMW oil that they recommend for the engine. This service filter, you only do hand tight, so basically screw it on, clean pair of, pair of gloves and hand tight it so it's nice and tight. Don't use any torque or uh, sockets on it, it's only hand tight. And the filler plug, as I said, has been torqued up to 28 newton meters, so that's all done. Give it a nice wipe, make sure you've got no oil anywhere. Uh, if you have got an oil leak, at least you, you'll see where it's coming from. Cleaner the better. That's complete there. Now that's what's actually come out of the engine at the moment. Uh, 2,600, I'd say 2,700 because of the oil filter's got oil in it as well. So we're going to put 2,6 in it to start with. Empty the container and fill it up with new engine oil. Make sure you put a, a towel on top or, or a cloth, just in case you spill any oil. Uh, you don't want it going on to the uh, top of the engine. Don't forget this is a uh, Rex engine. It's an electric uh, BMW electric car. It's got a uh, 650cc BMW motorcycle engine in the back. It's a range extender. Uh, it's probably one of the best uh, electric cars to ever buy. And 
fill it up with uh, we're going to put 2,700 millilitres of oil back into it exactly the same as what's come out uh, when we've run it for five miles we're going to pull the dipstick out and check the oil level but this is so easy to do uh, BMW I think will charge £170 to do this and it's as you can see it's probably taken us 20 minutes max to do it and at least we know what oil has come out the quantity as I said before BMW won't tell you what quantity the engine oil uh, is so this is a good video to uh, so you know how much oil is in the engine 2700 millilitres has gone back in As I said before, this car's only done a thousand miles, so it's worth doing the oil change. That's good. No spill to any oil anywhere. Uh, obviously, don't forget to put the oil uh, cap on top of the engine. That's that yellow uh, plug. It screws in. Screw it in down manually and just nip it tight. There is a seal on the bottom, a rubber seal. Uh, just make sure that is nice and secure. The dipstick, as you can see, is on the uh, left-hand side. That's half out at the moment. That's what we'll give a, a reading. So we're gonna check a, a reading at the moment with it uh, just fill. The oil hasn't gone to the sump at the moment. We've put uh, 2,700 milliliters in. Just give it a, a check, it will be on the dipstick, but it will probably be at the uh, lowest position or middle. Actually, it's actually saying it's on the middle at the moment, so that's perfect. Uh, after we've given an initial run, we'll check the oil level.